brew all the beer here, and the first thing we do is we have to start with the malt. We crush the malt between a, a rollers in a mill um, to create what we call grist, and that grist is augered up in that white pipe to the grist hopper, that stainless steel conical uh, hopper up there. We open the uh, gate at the bottom of the hopper and the grist falls down into the mash tun and we mix it with warm water to create the mash. That will determine to a large extent the nature of the finished beer. And what we end up with is a clear sweet liquid coming out of the bottom of that tank and that's, that's uh, what we call wort, W-O-R-T. And that wort then comes over to the kettle and the kettle, we, in the kettle we bring it up to a boil, boil it for about an hour and a half, and at the beginning of the boil we add our bittering hops, and uh, with about five minutes left in the boil we add our aroma hops. We connect up a, a sterile air line here, and the wort comes out, we aerate it with sterile air, and that's just to provide oxygen for the yeast so that they can multiply. And then that wort goes uh, over to whichever fermenter we're charging that day. For the first 12 to 18 hours, the um, yeast are absorbing all that oxygen we injected and multiplying. And one of the things about the old Mecklenburg Brewery is that we follow the German beer purity law strictly, which says we can only have four ingredients in the beer, malt, water, hops, and yeast, no artificial ingredients, no chemicals, no preservatives, etc. And that means also no artificial CO2 or no industrial CO2. And so we naturally carbonate the beer with the pure CO2 being produced by the yeast during fermentation. And the alcohol wants to stay in because it's a liquid, but the CO2 wants to come off because it's a gas. Of course, if we let all the CO2 come off, it would be a flat beer. And so what we do here at the Old Mecklenburg Brewery is we put these bunging devices on the tank, and that allows us to control the pressure and raise the pressure in the tank. After about a week in the primary fermenters, we shift the beer over to these uh, round tanks, which we call, call lager tanks. So this beer will be filtered today. It will be kegged today and tomorrow and bottled. And it will be in the bars at the end of this week. And it doesn't get any fresher than that. If you look at uh, beer and bread, they're basically the same thing. One's a solid, one's a liquid, but they have the same ingredients. Um, and as we all know, when you make bread, it's wonderful when it comes out of the oven. And then it gets worse every day from that point on. And, it, and within a week or so, it's really no good. Beer, it's the best it's ever gonna be right when it comes off of that yeast out of that tank. It's fresh, it has its full flavor, and um, you, can, you can really taste the difference. This is the, uh, the newest version and hopefully final version of our Captain Jack Pilsner. We've been testing different malts, different hops with this for a while and trying to make that perfect, clean German Pilsner. So hopefully this is it. Here's the perfect Pilsner. Yep, cheers. Cheers, prost. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, now over here in front. <laughs> right here. Yeah. There you go. Nick behind him. There you go. Yeah.